you gotta do everything, you know, if you special, specialize in one thing, you know, you really can't call yourself an all-out king. Yeah, yeah, Ron Salino, outdoorsman shit, hit him, lace up your Tims, Queens, fresh off the black top, all glory recital fees on the back block, back alley bronze and always cooking up a mad plot, the shit that have us laid in pens is with a glass top. Yeah. Here we go. The fucking. Uh, I was trying to get him to light the fireplace. The fireplace is broken. They won't do it. You want me to fix it? I know a chimney. Right. right. I said, I, if anybody knows how to fucking start <laughs> this thing, I'll get this fixed. Like Here we go. Chill, gas. Right. Right. Look, look, look. There's a little tick, 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 tick. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Give me a lighter. It's a little gas deal. It's a little gas deal. What do we got? What do we talk? We're gonna, we're gonna do some promo stuff for Airport Wars. I don't know. If they're smart, they've already started filming. Because as soon as we sit down, fucking, they're gonna catch something funny that happens. Wild cowboy shit. Yeah, wild cowboy shit. Okay. So Tommy, Tommy Reek, we're sitting down with a gentleman tonight. We're here to talk about Airport Wars. Okay. So we're at Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Who are you racing at Airport Wars? I'll tell you the truth. I gotta race. Uh, what's gonna happen is we're gonna be picking out of the hat, right? right? And there's gonna be callouts, and you can either accept the callouts or pick the callout. Right. Well, if you want to call somebody out, they don't have to accept it. They don't got to. They could take it as a grudge race if they want to. They'll right. do it for money later on, right? Yeah. Or in the middle, we're going to have a few of these grudge races going off. At the same time, I get to race Rankin's Relic. Chris Perfect. Rankin. So you got a grudge race set up with Rankin's Relic. Yeah, and if you ask me, like, like who's a bad man of the land, uh, a lot of people think, like, oh, Tommy tilts his hat and stuff. No, I don't, I don't toot my horn. I don't. No. I'm me. You're very reasonable what I do guy, is except I give, when they fuck up your food. Yeah, we that, the, the food thing, honestly, the Chinese guy and all that stuff, yeah. it's okay. I'm, it's not like that type of party, but you, you can understand yeah. the food. But the bottom line, Chris Rankin, he eats it. He sleeps it. He breathes it. He digests it. He is the guy. If you ever watch him, he just races, practices. He's on the computer. He tunes his own car. He drives his own car. So I'm fortunate enough to get to race him. And now, do you, have you raced an LS power car before, or is this your first? Oh time? no, no, we raced many LS power cars before. Many LS. Have you been able to put the whipping on the? Yes, vehicle? absolutely. It saddens me to hear that. What is this? <laughs> That's you. No. <laughs> yes, it is. Let's throw this guy right in the mix. <laughs> Who, the fuck Who is, is the lucky candidate of the day? Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm going to a place I we gotta be honest with place. you. You're, you're, I love you, man. You're, we're probably gonna get in trouble right now because <laughs> right now we're on a live feed and uh, well, it's fun. Th I swear yeah. to God, this is Chris Nacky on the phone. I love him to death. I just want everybody to know that. So when when me and Chris are breaking each other's chops, I don't want people to to read the wrong type of stuff. But Chris, right now, I'm not lying to you. We're on a live live feed. <laughs> I'm with Matt Rice. You're on we're sitting in front phone, of a fireplace, and we're talking about the race, and you call, and you call. Does it sound like a sanctioned drag strip? And you know what Wilkie just said? He's in the background. He says, what the fuck? He goes, Tom, what the hell's going on? I said, he, Chris, Chris is on the phone, boys, live. Live. I just want to lay What's you up, man? Yo, Wilkie's saying hello to you, man. That's awesome. What's up, Wilkie? Should we call, can we call you back? We're actually in the middle of this. If you saw what was actually going on right now, maybe I'll have Wilkie take a picture. Yeah, send take it a there. picture, Wilkie. Will, can you get a picture Show for us? Yeah. yeah, bro. Oh, this is hysterical. So I'm going to send you this. We're going to get back to you. No, you, you know what I mean? Back so just you just because you put yourself under, I don't want to get me under with you. <laughs> You're a maniac. I love you, brother. All right, this is not my fault. I just want to let it be known. <laughs> All right? All right, brother. Easy. Oh, man. No doubt. Oh, no doubt. No That's doubt. That's my works. friend Chris, Snacky boy. Uh, we always go back and forth with some funny shit online. Try? Chris got a crazy, 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 crazy Mustang. Right. With a, uh, you know, he's got a Superman turbo on it. I don't want to give too many deals. Is, is he competing? Uh, he's, uh, he actually didn't make it to this race, but okay. he's definitely, definitely in the next races. So we'll see, him, we'll see him in the future. Oh, you're definitely going to see. You, you won't get a last of Chris Knacky, believe me. All right. He's one of them guys, he's like, uh, what can I say about Chris Knacky? I'll tell you what i say about him. Street racer. Right. Bet any amount of money. Don't give a shit. He's wild like that. And if he believes in the team, he'll bet on every single player in the team. That's it. That, and he, he stands behind the guys. Big money races. Are there going to be a bunch of big money races here at Airport Wars? What do you got planned? 
airport was, well, we got to take on the Rankin's Relic, right? Right. Me and him always go for a few bucks on the side. We'll Absolutely. figure that out. Um, he's a competitor. Definitely, definitely a tough guy to beat. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy. I'm happy that we're going to do this. But I think we're doing the best two out of three. Right. This way, if uh, right because we have, it's we anything can happen. What, what what Chris really is trying to do is put a a show on a show on for the crowd. Absolutely. So we put White Lightning with the Relic. Right. I think those are two badass cars that we always see each other at the races. We've never had the pleasure to go against each other, but we're always right there having a good time. So tomorrow is going to be the first time you line up with Chris Rankin. Yeah, yeah. How do you and feel? we got a lot of guys. I feel good. I feel positive. Yeah. I know he's the man of the land. There's no doubt in my mind. Absolutely. And that has nothing to do with nothing. You could take Chris Rankin out of here, take him out of his spot, put him on another street somewhere else. Yeah. It's still his run. Still he good. loves it. That's now, what he does. Now, you've been here. You were here last what? year. You were racing at Airport Wars. Who'd you race last year? Last year, I got the pleasure of racing Lee Roberts. All right. Lee's a gentleman, personal friend of mine, good guy. Uh, he's from the, with the MSO, in case anyone don't know who Lee is. And if you don't know who Lee is, then there's something wrong with you. You don't know Probably, about street yeah. races. Lee gets in any car. He drives Night Force, the Nova. Right. And what happened last year is uh, we had Tucci Racing was on the scene doing all the videos. Big shout out to Tucci Racing. And we were flying, man. I took him out of the hall. I had Lee. Right. And I, I put on him. It, I'm not making no excuses either, guys. When I lose, I lose. Yeah. I lost to Lee Roberts. The guy's a gentleman. Bottom line, I went hard left like this. <laughs> he was going straight. I came back over the other way. Right. Right at right at his quarter panel. You'll probably be seeing that on the uh, Discovery Channel this year. The they show. should have that on. You never know if you get on or not. I've been on it a few times. All right, we'll see. But it is what it is. They I say think. I they, they call your name from the streets. There's white lightning. I There's white lightning. TV. You know, we went I mean? we went to the gas station today and the shop, and they knew the white lightning fans came out of the garage. Uh, that was pretty crazy yeah. to fix so, the car today. Speaking of that, with uh, with Lee Roberts, where you were sliding all over the road like that, everything went that way. How do you feel about the surface at West Virginia, Berkeley Springs, West Virginia Airport Wars? What's the surface like? Well, I'll tell you what we try to do is, uh, in, my, in, my, in my opinion, the surface at Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, is the absolute trying to say, here's the real street, and this is Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It simulates the real street in a certain type of way. It's like, you know, you could go street racing without getting arrested. And it brings a whole community and a bunch of people together to do the racing. But the surface is sketchy. You got to know your shit. It's a tuna, tuna's race, right. and a driver's race, if you're asking my opinion. Absolutely. The fastest car is not going to win that. It's not the fastest car. It's not the most horsepower. Nope. It's who's going to get A to B without getting sketchy. 100%. What do you think? We've had some rain before the event this weekend. What do you think the rain is going to do? And is that going to change the way you guys approach your tune-up or what kind of suspension? or what you what guys The, are the doing rain's going to wash off all the, all the stuff off the track. Right. Clean it up. Make it like a, a bare strip again. Right? Right. And with that said, it's going to make it... It's going to make it the same thing. You're going to have a tuna driver's race. It's not going to be like you're, you're going to the track, you're going to hook and book. It ain't happening. Absolutely. So what's what's on the game plan? I mean, I know we've got the biggest event so far of the year coming up tomorrow, but what are we? What is White Lightning looking to do the rest of the year? I got a whole bunch of things with Hurricane Tours, Hurricane Tours and all of them guys. Right. Terrence Hicks, he's another gentleman, good guy. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff with him. Terrence is the man. Absolutely. So we got him, as you know, me and you got a few things set up. We got a few We're things. We're not allowed to talk about it yet. It's top flight. Top but flight classified. what we do have set up is some street racing out in the street. Absolutely. We've talked about it. Bill Hoskins is in on it. Absolutely. Getting and them guys in there. <laughs> Billy and Billy. <laughs> They're coming to town. What do you think? Uh, who is the most exciting, exciting person coming from out of town? Now, I know we got the New York guys. We got the Pennsylvania guys versus the world. Who are you most excited about that's coming from outside of town? You know, outside of those two main groups. I'll be honest with you. You got the 518 no step guys coming, and uh, they get down on the street. Right. No, no BS. Everybody could say, you know, you know what happens is everybody argue this, everybody argue that. The 518 no step guys, when they come, they're prepared to race. So I got to give them a lot of credit. They make every event. Wherever they could go, they go. Right. So they're big on that. So uh, I would say they're going to be. They're going to be some competitors in it, and there's a whole bunch of guys coming from Memphis. It's not the MSO, but we got a couple dudes from there. Texas are coming. Um, 
up in Michigan, I know is coming. We got Chicago's in the house. Right. You got spring of '88 is here. Everybody's here. The whole Delaware, family. Delaware, New York, New Delaware, Jersey, Delaware, New York, New Everybody. Jersey. So Ohio. I would say this is going to be one hell of an event, and uh, anybody can enter. That's the cool thing. It's big ties, small ties. So even in a streetcar class. In a streetcar class. So if anybody's even watching this, they live in the area. You could come and enter the streetcar class. It's like so cheap. It's not even funny, and have a good time. Yeah. So that and, and be that people. guy for the day, and have a nice time, and maybe be like, "Holy Christ, something ticks off, and you do it again." All right. So now, what would you tell the good people at home about using a parachute if they want to use a parachute on their car? If they want to use a parachute on their car, should I tell my experience? Tell the parachute me your experience story? with the parachute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I asked the question? All right. I'll tell you what happened the other day. Me and my main man here, we were out testing, and uh, I said, I'm going to throw the shoot, right? All right. So I told my, my good friend, Chris Tucci, I said, Chris, make sure you get this shot, man. This is going to be a good one. This is it. This is it. I'm going to throw the shoot. End right. of the day, let's have some fun, right? We're cooking in the eighth mile. I'm full tilt, ball to the floor. Bah! Next thing you know, right before I pass the eighth, I throw the shoot. Well... It's the first time I ever threw the shoot. <laughs> right. You were expecting And I something. literally, it was like I threw the shoot because right. nothing happened. <laughs> so my reaction time to my head, to look in a rearview mirror, to turn my head and say, what the hell happened? Turn back around, look at the lake. Yeah. And all of a sudden, poof, the shoot pops up. Like, <laughs> I was already on the break for the love of God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So that type of party with the parachute, they say use it in sketchy situations. My advice to everybody out there is to look up a good parachute company and make sure you get the right one. I don't want to mention no bad names, no, no good names. Make sure it comes out of the bag. But for the love of God, you need the one with the double bag. The double bag. Yeah, unless for some reason I didn't put the first bag on it. You know, years ago I, I put this thing together because when it popped out, it was just flying behind the car oh, like that. Oh, so the first bag, <laughs> the, little, the little one that comes out. The, the yeah, it forgot to come out. It was just flying around yeah. on the top well, of the car. Well, uh, what I thought would happen is that you just decided you weren't going to stop at all. So I didn't you know. know. You, I, well, you, you felt good. You were going to ride it all the way out to the I was right. out the back door. Well, why not? We were going to be swimming with the fishes if I kept it going. So, yeah, we got we to clip them the video, the video footage of us getting the water from the lake. But that was impressive. So right. water burnout only. Water burnout. People only. look at it like it's sticky icky, but they don't realize that you took your shoes off and you're walking through the lake to get the water. Right. Real real pond water. <laughs> real pond water. <laughs> you talk about real street, real street, real pond water, man. Real pond water. <laughs> what what do you think? Is there is there gonna be an opportunity to see you race with some sticky icky or is it is it all water burnout only? What I'll tell you is, the, what is the, you the New York truth. Street Outlaw standard? What uh New York Street Outlaw standard is is water burnout only. Right? right? And what happens is a lot of times, well, this is definitely 100% water burnout only. Absolutely. 100%. We proved that point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What happens is everybody says water burnout only because they want to get the crowd in. They want to get the people in. But then when you get there, they're putting prep down. Yeah. They're not prepping the, the street. These are all street racing. They're not prepping the street. What they're doing, they're, they're, you're prepping right there. You're just running through a puddle of prep, do a burnout, right. drive it through. But Take that stuff out. is going all out there. So me, like I didn't, I wasn't even used to that. I'm like, no prep, no prep, no prep. When I got there, I was doing water burnout, and everybody was getting pissed off at me <laughs> because I'm using water and I'm right. running into their and sticky into icky. Stuff. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So I didn't even know. I had no clue. I said, what the hell? That's it, Tom. You can't use it. What? I can't use water. You can't use water. You think they would take that and maybe, you know, say, hey, we got this guy. But right. it doesn't work like that. So then I'm on Sticky Icky. My God, the car's flying like <laughs> you just don't care. Popping four-foot wheelies. It's crazy. Tell us about the beast that is White Lightning. It's a 1957. <laughs> Go ahead. Give us the rundown. Uh, the beast that's White Lightning is a 1957 Chevy two-door sedan. And it is a bad, bad mother. What's it, it powered by? How much? We got, a, uh, we got a 632 all-aluminum nitrous-breathing Scott Shafroff racing engine in it. You know? Right. We got it. We got a. Uh, we got MRC race cars. Mark Margal personally built the car. You know. You got to talk about the bachelorette awesome. party. Pumped up, boy. What? Tell me about the bachelorette party. The bachelorette party. The big fats bachelorette party. Yeah, yeah. Or do you want to do the the uh, the plop cast? When we talk about the plop cast that you uh, that Mark Margal was going to bring in last night. Too easy. Too easy. All right, so so Tommy, the reason the reason I'm out here is some folks may or may not know. I do this podcast, Race Talk with Rice. We had you on. We talked about Chinese food. We talked about Morton Steakhouse. We talked about the whole deal. And the other night, walk us through what happened. I set up. We were at dinner. Yes. Right. We were at dinner. What happened at dinner? I set up the camera. 
You set up the camera at Denny, you had everything going. We all ate, we had a good time. You took off to the restroom for a minute. Right, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. MRC race cars, the man that built the car. <laughs> he come out and he says, I'm going into the men's room. I said, what happened in there? He said he wanted to do a plop cast. I said, a plop cast? He goes, yeah, isn't that where Matt from DNR Racing is? <laughs> I said, a plop cast? They were trying to follow me and we were trying to, We were trying to give it back to you, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, poor guy, I need to go use the bathroom. Here they are trying and to And here we are, we're in the bathroom with the guy doing a plop cast. So what, you, you got a bunch of crew out here. I mean, New York is a bunch of wild guys. I've heard a bunch of crazy stories. I just witnessed one in the other room. We not the big fat story. The big fat story. They oh, had the man. bachelorette uh, let me just, party. I'm going to give you a couple of things. Big Fats is doing a little bachelorette party for the girls next door. You know right. what I mean? And when he came out with the shower curtain wrapped around him, well, you can imagine what the people thought. He's 450 pounds of pure beef. You know what I mean? Absolutely. His manhood was just hanging all over the place in a shower curtain, for the love of God, and his daughter's here. But thank God. Right. She's used to this type of stuff because he's just a complete psychopath. <laughs> Is he here? Is Big Fat in the house? Big no. Fat's here. Come on in, Big Come Fat. Say hello. Big Come on in. This is this is this guy is a this guy is a New York street outlaw for real. He's the, he's OG to the game. We're not live, so it doesn't. I don't know why you guys are whispering, right? We're not live streaming, are we? Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up, My man. What's up? Joe. So listen, you want to walk us through a shower curtain? Yeah, that was kind of scary. We were going camping. They stole my clothes. Here, so, They stole your clothes? Yeah, I was taking a shower. What else was I going to do? I had to come out naked. Family place, so I came yeah. out of the shower now, curtain. Listen, can you show them the tattoo? Zoom in, guys. What's that, uh, 80 Malibu? The 81 what Malibu. What does it say on that? Big NYSO? NYSO. Let me see the that. The Nice. NYSO right there. So anyway, one time, big fact, because he does such a good job at everything, always helping me out, man. He's my main man. Goes anywhere, does anything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and takes the ride with me all across the world, all this traveling and stuff, right? Right. I just want to say that this this guy, I try to treat him up, hook him up, get him a nice nice place to stay, hang out. What I did from is, I got him a massage. Yeah. I, I, I showed him. We got these two beautiful girls. We're going to get a massage. We're going to have a good time. Right? Absolutely. Simple stuff. We need but to relax. It's a high-stress environment. You can't keep doing this thing without getting broken down a little bit, right? right. So yeah, it's very I, stressful. I bring him into driving. the place. He's in one room. I'm in the other room, right? Right. We're chilling out. We're right. hanging out. And the next thing you know, the girl's walking on my back. She's holding on to the rail, and she's laughing hysterical. So I said to the girl, I said, what, what, is, what is going on up there? They don't speak no English, you know? Right. So all of a sudden, I hear all this crazy talk in the room. The guy's saying, don't. You're getting handsy. Stop touching me. All around that, the guy's smacking him on the ass, right? All right. I open up the curtain to see this guy in there, butt naked, with a little <laughs> Chinese guy again. A Chinese guy, not even a girl. Right. Smack guy. him on the ass and tell him, Randy, you stay, you be comfortable, I got you. Massaging his buttocks. This guy was so embarrassed, man. I, hey, come on, big fat. True come. story. Right. True story. Yo. He followed me out to the goddamn park line. You sit down. I take care. No, I'm not done. Tommy opens fats. How's your girl? How's my girl? Look at it, I got round bag. Right here. <laughs> Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce is just smacking him down. You know what Chase I mean? Chase me out. Oh, round that. You know, pay. I'll pay you. Don't worry. But you ain't touching nothing else. Right. We're giving him, a, give him the old. He went in there for the back massage. He got the lower end, yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah. bottom end change. Yeah. <laughs> bottom end. <laughs> <laughs> Shit wasn't right. So anyway. And then, and then he goes, oh, we'll go get something to eat next door. Yeah. Walk into the Chinese food place. They're all connected. They're all connected. Yeah, they all know everybody. They're everybody knows same. everybody. And they're all laughing at us. Oh, round I got it by Cousin Gabe Bruce. And you, as you know, I don't even eat Chinese food, but I thought it would be funny because the place was next to the place. Why don't you eat Chinese food? These guys have been coming to my house for 20-something years. I've never, not once, not once, I'll show you my phone bill, ever ordered Chinese food. Hey, Pab, what do you got? Chinese food, motherfucker? Yo! Hey! Yeah, Chinese food, motherfucker. I don't order Chinese food, and you know that every time. You have to either go to the door in the back, 
or the fucking side door. But for the love of God, hey, hey don't put your ear there, man. I'll bite it off. Arr! You hear what I'm saying to you? You have to go to the side door. I don't understand. Hey, brother, are you listening to me? Hey, come back. Come here. Come over here. Talk to me. Yo, come here. Put your head here. Hey, can you hear me? Sir, can you hear me? Don't ring that bell. Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Hey, hey, buddy. Look at me. Hey! I'm talking to you! Oh, my God. Yes, me. I'm looking at you, too. Oh, my God. That's it. I can't even do it no more. They like to pound the door down until I answer it. I'm on the ring doorbell racing with big Turbo Loose Adida, right. right? That poor guy, we're in the middle of the woods drag racing in Mexico, and this guy's ringing the bell. Come on, dude, give me a break. I'm not even home. It's fun when they're there, but right. I got no time to play with these little guys on the phone. I'm doing something right I'm now. doing something, but they don't care. So now... I get a big, big, big round out here to Chinese guys. Right, get them on the phone? <laughs> yeah, so I, so I don't go there no more. I'm surprised we didn't send over no Chinese takeout to this place. Yeah, no. We should have. Mm. No, we're in West Virginia. I don't think we can get right Chinese We have takeout. to give a big shout out. A big shout out. We're in West Virginia land. This is white lightning territory right here. Absolutely. And don't forget about Spray M88 and his family came down from Chicago. Spray M88, you out there? Yes, sir. Come on in, man. Come on in, bro. This is the best. He brought his wife, his kids, the, the whole girlfriend, family. the whole family is here. He's Everybody. moving. We got him to move. Yes, sir. Yes, He's sir. coming to Long Island. They don't want to hear. We don't want to. Yo, my boy. What's going on? Are you coming to Long Island? <laughs> my man needs a job, all right? Yeah, we're he coming. Don't need a job. We're coming. That's got it. We're coming to the condoms and out. Absolutely. He don't need a job. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Appreciate that. So let's talk about what happened. What are you wearing there today? White light. One and only. White light, man. That's what we do. That's why we're here. Tell All the way from Chicago. Where, where did this start, this white light? I started following Tommy just over two years ago. Two years ago. Listen to this. And um, we're going back and forth. And I told you I, there was a guy in Chicago I wanted you to call out. Yep. This guy named Tough Enough. Yep. He's the fastest guy in Chicago. So I said, man, you got a fast car. You, we got to get you out of here. He goes, 100%. you know what? We got to link up. Remember that? Definitely. And this is at least two years ago. That's got to be over two years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then since then, he's like, oh, man, your paintwork is beautiful, this and that. We're going Sick back job. and forth. And um, we just said, we got to link up one day. And when we went to Baltimore, that's when we met up. Yeah. Man, it's like it's like a brother from so another you, mother. You, you know what I mean? from Chicago, It's all, right? it's all love, man. Absolutely. So it's good stuff. All, all the way from, from Chicago. Chicago. Bring your family out here. My, 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 my kids, too. everybody. Yeah. Bring we're them we're all fans. We're all fans. Big fans is the big brother. Yeah. Come on in. Come on. Get your son over here. Come on, guys. We're just going to run together. Come on in. Say hi to the cameras, everybody. Yeah. So. Yeah, but we come all the way down here just to support. That's what it's all about, you know? And who's this guy? That's, that's my oldest son, Nick. Man. So we're right. Right. Nico G. She's Nico back G. there hiding from the cameras. You better get Tina Garcia. Garcia. She's back there. <laughs> Tina Garcia, get up here. Come on. Now I'm just pandemonium straight now. Yeah, we can't wait. Tina, come on. <laughs> oh, she's coming. She's coming. Come on, Tina. Watch this. This is going to be good. It's Tate, all, come it's on, all, in. it's all family. Let me get back here. Come on, brother. It's all get family. Back. Come on, Tina. Let's squeeze in there with y'all. Get, get in, in there, here, brother. You're a big guy. There you go. Get you in there. Come on, mama. Yes, sir. Get up here. There's a girlfriend. <laughs> Dude, I just want to let you know so this is the family from that Chicago these guys supporting you guys. are from Chicago. Absolutely. Chicago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, everybody? Are they are they the farthest traveling white lightning fans that we have to date? I would say they are definitely one of the farthest traveling white lightning fans, but uh, they travel from all around the world. Everybody's pretty much like simple, right. good people with common sense that understand street racing and, and good people. It's not just about... Anyone can be a street racer. Absolutely. Right? And anyone can anybody be a drag can go racer. racer. On the street, anybody it's, can go. And everybody gets, you know. They can't be good at it. No. And listen, and at the same time, the people that are doing this, right? Like White Lightning and everybody else. Right. Hey, man, we try to be as best as we can. Phone's blowing up. Right. Oh, okay. Hold on. This guy wants in. <laughs> oh, because he saw because I hit the Hello. Line. Hold on one second, sir. We're going to get right to you. Stay on the phone. Okay? Okay. Okay. So that, that's what happens with the street racing scene. It's about the people and the quality of people you meet. Nice. Years ago at the track, the races would be a little bit, you know, they're friendly, some are arguing, everybody has their own clue, right? right? Not these days. You go to Pennsylvania, you go to Massachusetts, you got Anthony from Massachusetts, a big shout out to him. You got all the street races all over. You got the MSO, another good bunch of dudes, right? right? I could go on and on with all the street races, mm -hmm. but that this is how you get together. This is how it becomes a family. Yeah. Because you don't just leave people hanging. You bring the fans in. Absolutely. Come on down. 
and we have a big party. This is Frankie Ott on the phone. You remember Frankie Ott? Frankie Ott, what's going on, Frankie Ott? Iron Man. Frankie Ott is Iron Man. Frank, you're on a live Iron feed. Man. We're doing. Iron Man is in the house. Right, we can get out I of wanted to mention you one more shout out. You don't have to leave yet, brother. Sit back and relax. It's all good. We got, we got, yeah. to, we got to give a shout Somebody out. Somebody get a couple we, white Russians over here. You want here. to talk about the race with Frankie Ott and uh, Novocaine? Yeah, we got, we got Eric Novocaine. The band is a wild <laughs> band. The guy, he's just nuts. It's going to be crazy. Because uh, how about got, the way these two guys drive? Right, and then we got No Lift Frankie Ott over no there. No Lift Frankie Ott against, against Novocaine. Out. Guys, I can't wait to first off the trailer. First it's a off grudge the trailer. race. I just want everyone to know that's a grudge race that is not an elimination race. Frank, am I right? I'm right, buddy. That's a grudge race. So that's time. a grudge race that is not an elimination, right? Did you see the live feed that was showing out there? Yeah. All right. So you're in. Are you at the track right now? At the airport. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna wrap this up. Give you and Eric some street cred while we're out there, Absolutely. and we're gonna come down and see you. Absolutely, do it, man. Yeah, I'll stop in tonight. Okay. We're just gonna finish up. You got it. We're gonna be there, brother. I'm gonna finish up with Tucci Racing. We're just talking some live feed stuff to everybody and telling them what's going on, and we're gonna be out there. You got it, brother. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so that was Frankie Yacht right there. <laughs> Everybody wants in on the phone. Yeah, yeah, Frankie Yacht's a good guy. Where were we? What was the next question? I don't even know where we were at, to be honest with you. Does anyone know where we, we were, were at? We got a shout out. Races, some shout outs. Oh, we could have bring well, in the guy, that, to think the guy that built the car. We were talking about the car. No, because they're probably, no, nah, I could be fucking wrong here, but they're probably going to want to get everybody like individually, too. So instead of having six people in a group and they can't even get them on camera, it'd be more individualized, I think. Mark, come on down. <laughs> get me in there, Mark. Yeah. Come okay. on in, buddy. Uh, are you alive? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Matt. Ask him some questions. What's going on, brother? So tell us who you are, where you're from. Uh, Mark Marco from Marco Race Cars out in South Windsor, Connecticut. So how did you get wrapped up with some knuckleheads from New York? I've got a whole group of Long Island customers who've been coming for a while. Probably the first one of this group was probably Glenn Hunter with the Twin Turbo 56. Right. Um, built his car. It's been going on quite a few years now. It's probably eight or ten years ago anyways. And He's been Twin Turbo that long? No, no. That car was originally supercharged. It was a blower car originally. He's been Turbo probably two or three years now, I would say. Yeah. But that was probably the first one of the street outlaw guys that they did out of the island. And, uh, it's been a steady stream of them coming to the shop ever since. How did you get started? How long have you been doing this? Uh, next year will be 30 years. So you've been doing this for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And what have you worked on? I mean, has it been all like no prep stuff or is it, you know? It's no, the no prep stuff's just been the last few years. I mean, it was it, pretty much everything. I started out, I used to race Pro Mod back in the 90s, so I've been right. doing this a while. Um, just recently, had a super stock deal. I mean, we do everything, you know? Do some X275 stuff, a lot of top sportsman cars, a little bit of everything. Just anything with doors, pretty much. Absolutely. So what do you think, what is it like going to Airport Wars and, and having to be the man that does the chassis setup on this type of road? Tough. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> well, That's know. the question I was waiting for. Go ahead. Right. I like the way he wheels you in nice and yeah. slow. Yeah. And then BAM! I got this is the a, first a, time I've been on this poor surface. It is, it is a poor surface, and I know we've been going back and forth. Every time we get done on the run, I'm going to the car, we're pulling the data, we're putting it up on the computer, you know what I mean? There's a lot that has to go on. Um, what are some of the challenges you think that you guys are going to face racing on this surface from a chassis standpoint? Uh, the biggest thing I see is just how much it changes. I mean, you know, regular drag racing or prep racetrack, the track may change during the day, but it changes in three or four hour swings. Right. It doesn't change five minutes at a time. This place, you know, we, we made some test hits with the car. We thought we were on the right track, made a good run. Right. Made little or no changes, go out there and just completely different. Track is just changing by the minute. It's crazy. You know, the asphalt is real coarse and it's old and it's... And there's cracks. It's falling apart every time you go on the track. The same sealer down that's, there. That's the part of, right? 
simulating oh, yeah. a, a street road. Yeah. The grass tracks growing through the grass, grass growing. It's real street. Similar, it's pretty you can't rough. get more real street well, than that. Really, I mean, typically. Uh, now I'm not going to say anything here, but usually when we race on the street, we pick a better street. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh no, no, hundred you percent. Know I mean, I mean, I, I've you know, not that I'm out there with them hanging out on the no, side of the interstate, but I've seen the Allegedly. videos and it gets it done out there. It's we're all having trouble here. It's all impressive. So do you think? So you think everybody's fighting the same fight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, everybody's got to race the same surface, so there's you know. And that's why they're they're calling it the Great Equalizer, mm -hmm. and they're considering it the Great Equalizer because it's you know, everybody has to get down the road. And now we've got the rain, we got the rain that came through town. So any that, that surface is gonna be a completely new surface. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, what is your game plan for the rain? How are we gonna change it up? I, I don't know that it's, you know, it's not like we had any kind of a great surface. Maybe the rain will make it better. Maybe it'll wash some of the dust off, so. Right. Um, Cause in the burnout box, they were, it was muddy. Yeah, it was funny. Well, that's what happens when you guys use creek water for the burnouts. But well, somebody, <laughs> I'd like to, if we can, real quick, I would definitely like to get this on camera. I'm gonna look at the camera. Shout out Chris Rankin. Thank you very much for letting us know about the lake where we could get water from. <laughs> I still have six thorns in my leg. <laughs> my my, uh, my cancer rate is and a dog pissed on you. <laughs> right, my yeah, cancer right. rate is through the roof. We cannot drink that water as much as it looks delicious in the creek. It's not good for the body. It's not good for the soul. It's not good for the tires. So thank you very much for the rain. And the excellent recommendation. I thought you had chocolate milk. <laughs> I thought you had chocolate milk. It looked like it was terrible. Well, now they put me in charge. You go in and get the water for the whole race. Uh, and that was a terrible idea. Are you, what's going on with the flagger for the race? Do we know who the flagger is? We don't know. For, somebody's got to call Chris or Kim or somebody and say what's the deal. Because the Tucci boys said they got a uh, they got a GoPro that I can wear on my head or on my chest or something so I can flag. And instead of me worrying about getting footage from the starting line, right I'll there get the already. footage right there. It's so, a good idea. We've got to talk to Rankin about that. Chris, yeah. and, uh, we'll talk to Kim. We'll get it, we'll get it figured out. And we got to give a shout out to Kim Burton. Kim Absolutely. Burton, Chris Rankin, throwing this whole shindig. Another another shout out to Frankie Ott, you know what I mean? Iron him and him and him and uh, Iron Man in the house definitely taking on my boy Novocaine. Absolutely. And uh, they're doing it like you know what I'm saying? They're oh, doing it the like, off the trailer. Off when you go trailer. off the trailer, come on man. That's a you gotta have a brass one in there to do that. That's Honestly. crazy. That is not easy. Everybody talks about it. Everybody says, Yeah, I wanna do it, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. Well then do it. it it's yeah. not first the, First pair off the trail is like insane. It is. It's crazy. So I give both of them. They both want to do it. And those two psychopaths, what I say, I can see them exchanging a little paint tomorrow. That's going to be, <laughs> yeah. I think that's going to be a hard race to beat in the show because if they both get down the road in some sort of way, I mean, it's going it's to gonna be a one of them. Are I, like, I like both cars. Yeah, you know what I mean? cars, but I don't think either one of them is lifting. That's the problem. The good thing about today is, though, that's today's times problem. is, you have all these people, right? You have you have Mark Margot, like he says. You have Novocaine. You have Tommy Reek. You have Chris Franken. You got Frankie. You, have, you got Mark Rubright. I could go on and on and on, right? right? It's just one big happy family, right? There's not everybody. We go to dinner together. We hang out together. We go yeah, shopping they together. They can't see on the back end of this camera. There's 30 people in this room right now. Right. And all the people we sat and ate dinner with and had conversations. And, and, and a team support from one end to the other. You got Wilkie coming from upstate New York. He comes all the way there. Absolutely. And, he, and he's like he's like a big, well, big, mad assistant. You know what I mean? Wilkie took care of filling up all the nitrous bottles with my main man, David Terizzi. We're going to call him in in a little bit, too. There you go. We got, uh, so we talked about uh, uh, Novocaine. We talked about who else? Yeah. We well, well, I'm thinking about New York guys. Who are the other New York guys on the list? That are coming down here and racing. We got Glenn Hunter. We got Glenn he's Hunter talking about that he built turbo. with the twin turbo. Tell us about Glenn Hunter. What do you see about? Glenn Hunter's like a uh, he's a degenerate. <laughs> 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 nah, my man Glenn Hunter Jr. He's a gentleman. He's a nice guy. He's one of the coolest cats on the team. Uh, he's like Cool Hand Luke. He just sits back. He really don't say nothing. No, he's like Clark Kent. He's all mild mannered. Yeah. He puts his fire suit on. And then he gets his fire suit on. He does a full on. length burnout. He does a full length <laughs> well, stripe out there. He's been he's ready. I saw him in testing and everything else. Like when we were at the track a few weeks ago. Uh, I think he shakes the tires for about 300 foot. Doesn't let off. But still goes straight and very fast. So I don't... 
And I don't even think they're, we're stopping that anymore. Just look at <laughs> no, just shape. let it go. Just, you know what I mean? Me, I, I was with him. quarters. No, we were practicing. What happened to us? We shook the windshield out of, out of white lightning. Oh, that's rough. Well, you know, you, you're set up to run on this kind of surface, and you go to a track that's <laughs> prepped to the yeah. nines. It's yeah. up. <laughs> we shot the so back window right out. It's a lot of stuff to change. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what, that's what you should ask me about. What's the difference of the car? What, what we're doing to the car being sweet? Oh, we don't want to talk track. about that. That's we don't want to tell them all the secrets. That's the key to being yeah. a hero here, isn't it's it? Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a part of it is they're going to edit shit, so we cannot let them fucking give away all the secrets, but on the flip side too. Well, all right, so we talked about Novocaine, we talked about Glenn Hunter, we've got you, we've got uh, Big Power in the house, what are they bringing? Big Power in the house has got the game changer, that's a 1968 and a half Camaro. Why is it a half? <laughs> Am I wrong in saying that? Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I don't know. I'll tell you why, right. there's a great story to that car. What is it? Because he bought the car off of somebody, right? And then he put his own motor, his own train, his own rear, his own power plant in the car, and then everybody wants to say, like, oh, you, but you didn't build the car. You didn't, you didn't do the body. You didn't do the paint job. Right. So he's a crazy, crazy mother. He takes a perfectly, and I'm not, I don't want people to think right away, they'll think I'm knocking the guy. He's definitely not knocking the guy. When I say he's a complete maniac with this, he takes the whole car apart. The car was spotless. Cuts the quarters off, throws that shit right in the garbage like it's junk. Right. He likes a 69 quarter panel on a 68. No problem. Everybody thought he was nuts. Completely out of his mind. The end result, the car looks beautiful. The quarters oh, yeah. came out mint. And it looks like nut. How do you do that with the lines and stuff? He's got some crazy, crazy fabricators at his place that do an amazing job. So the car came out nice. That's a game changer. That's a nice car. What else you got? So we got that. So we're like five guys. Anything? We got a couple left. Who else came from New York to get down there? What else we got? What else we got? We got. So we got Glenn Hunter. We got the Nova King. We got me. We got the Game Changer. We got Matt. Matt's got a. Uh, Matt. Matty's got a '67 Nova too. '66 or '67 box Nova. Nitrous breathing, big black animal. Right. Right. He's got that car. He's on. He's a. He's a beast. Which one is that? The gold one. That's the goldish looking one. The goldish one. You got Dave Forrester. Got a Buick Grand National. And nope, that's not an LS motor. That's a big black nitrous breathing animal. Dave's Absolutely. a Dave's a nitrous junkie. So we got big Dave Forrester, and then you got uh, we got Mikey Monza. He's got a '63 box Nova. I believe right. that's a '63. Yeah, I think right. so. It's in, it's in them years. Yeah. That car, that car, this would probably be his terrain out here. Yeah, he's been hustling. We got, uh, we got Matt Lucci with the, uh, with the Matt Lucci and Tommy Lucci with the Green Camaro. Right. Father and son team, right? We got them boys out here. And uh, I could just keep going on and on and on. Uh, you know, I, I, I apologize for the guys I don't get in, but it's not on the top of that. It's right. tough. Well, I'm just trying to, because I figure if, uh, whatchamacallit, they talk about the team and you like talk about oh, some of your teammates and the, stuff. The teammates are all, each guy is eccentric. Each guy is in, in his own way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're all individual characters. Oh my God, are they characters? And I love them, each and every one of them. Absolutely. And you got, and then you got a whole bunch of guys that, that uh, like Ty, a big Ty, a rag top, big Tony. You know, he's not here right now. You got Manny, uh, Tyler No Boost is usually running out here. He had a couple, uh, couple failures with the cars because a couple things happened. You know, he's well, he blows shit up. He's right. an animal. He's, he's, he's an animal. animal. So he's a driver. He's out there driving. Uh, usually Louis cars here. Yeah. Louis cars like the probably the number one contender for this airport right here. He goes yeah. rounds and rounds and rounds, and he, he goes against the best of the best. So I know you're racing in it, but I want to hear. Well, you're not racing in small tire. Do you have a pick for who's winning small tire? Small tire? I gotta see because uh, small tire is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Small yeah. tire is gonna be interesting because there's a lot of people. There's more people, travelers. I would say. No, I saw Rankin going back and forth. That's what I was just gonna tell you. Big tires. Is Rank. he gonna run both? Classes? Yeah, Chris will probably Chris will probably run both classes. He's a you badass. You gotta think he's gonna be a strong contender in a small. Class. He's definitely a sure. strong contender. That car runs to me. It looks like it runs the same uh, on small tires it does on big tire. Yeah. But don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't mean that. I mean that's how badass that car is. Oh yeah. So it don't matter. If it just Chris, gets down either way. Yeah, it gets down either way. And listen, it didn't just come out like that. No. That guy's been working on that car for years. He's been working his ass off. Who do you think, give us the, the uh, assumption, who is going to be in the finals of Big Tire? Who's the last two cars of Big Tire? Oof. On the Big Tire? Well, I'm definitely going to be there. Absolutely. I think Chris is going to be there. Because Wesley Skinner won last year. He's got the Chevelle. Right. That car's a badass. Big Tire, Ragtop. 
He's not coming, but we got uh, Big Power Racing with the game changer the Camaro, the 68 yeah. and a half. That car is fast as shit. We got Big Ricky with Big Power. If not, Big Ricky will pick that car up and just throw it across <laughs> the line, make it a contender. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have you guys filmed Big Ricky yet? Have we seen Big Rick yet? No, I Big Rick. All right, we got to get Big Rick on the camera. Yeah, he looks like, he's, like a, he's like a Superman cape with that guy. We're going to have to get him out there. Yeah. Good dude. Yeah, Box Nova made a strong lick out of the trailer yesterday, too, so. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Rob, right? When he came down with Chris. Yeah, yeah. that's Chris's uh, friend and partner, Chris Rob. Chris hit, put it away, it went good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that oh, one with Big Power. That, yeah. That's another 63. Yeah, they, just, they went off the trailer, they went 86 or 7 in that car, probably. Which one are you talking about? It was like a tannish gold one. In maybe? Big Powers? Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's the guy Matt I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, he made a good strong hit yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He took it off the trailer, went A to B, and then put it back up. Said, I'm done with this. Yeah. Now, what do you think? Are you, are you worried about the rain changing up your game plan? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. You know what it is? I have a good time at these events either way. Right. Win or lose. And uh, it's all it's all a big party until you get into that car. When I get into that car, I'm like in the, in the captain's seat of my office. I'm like at the office. Everything is there. My computers, my nitrous buttons all over the goddamn place. Switches everywhere. Right. It's simplified. But it's me. I know it. It's like That's being easy. at the office with a pen and paper. You know what I mean? Too no easy. big deal. Too easy. All right. So give them, uh, let's, let's roll off here. Give them a, a white lightning to the front. You know we're going to get a white lightning to the front. White right? lightning! White lightning to the front! That's what I'm talking about. Come That's on, right. brother. We need you know it. that. I, uh, I'm just remaining like Cool Hand Luke till tomorrow, and it's I on. Know. It's game time. It is what it is. What do you think? It's on. It's on. Get Wilkie in there? Wilkie! Wilkie, can you bring ah, that Pepsi? Bring that come Pepsi on, Wilk. Bring that Pepsi with Seat's you. all warm. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Before we get Wilkie in, we got to bring Davey in. Davey here? No. No. Davey's lying. <laughs> he bolted out. Did he really? Yeah. He's not here? He's not here? All right, well, let's go. I was going to have you bring Davey with you, but jeez. Davey's here. Here, listen, I brought you some sticky Davey's here? Thank you. Some sticky hickey. I'm going to get up and look for Davey. He's not here. Mm. He's hiding? Hmm. Old yeah. Davey boy. Davey boy took off. I'm shocked. Yeah. Dave's on, the man that, that always, always. always on top of the car. Go ahead. So, so, Mr. Wilkie, tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. <laughs> oh, 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 yo! 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 I need, I need some sticky icky on this bitch! <laughs> My real name's Greg Wilkie. I'm from Medford, Long Island, right. 631. Mm. Moved up to the upstate area. And, uh, had to meet new friends and, uh, had to try to meet street racers because I don't get along with normal people. Oh, oh my God. Well, they're all lunatics is the problem. You gotta have positive, you, uh, you gotta I am positive wherever yeah. you go. Give me the bottle. Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> Stop spinning the chair. Damn it, bro. Nah, man, you can't fucking, change me, bro. This is just I don't wanna I change am. you. I just wanna see move. you still in front of the camera tell so you they can no sticky see. icky and no prep. And I'm gonna get hated and love it. Whatever. Absolutely. Why, go on. Why do you want no sticky icky? Because no prep is no prep. Big tire car, small tire car. If the chassis mark isn't set up, sorry, it's your problem. So you think it's a good now, game of Now, well, your sticky icky, you use it on the starting line, right? And you're trying to drag it all the way out. Right. What the? F what use is a sticky icky? Six hundred and sixty feet out, three, three. I mean, thirty feet out, sixty feet out. Like, what is it doing for you? Nothing. Well, Get your car right. I would right. think what it's doing is keeping it sticky on the surface. Nah, that's man. The, whole point the of car it. is staying where it's supposed to stay when it's set up right. Absolutely. You're not going to change my mind, bro. Everybody has tried to. I'm going to change. The car needs to be set up right. That's it. So let me. You want to go on the street? Nobody's got time for a three foot burnout. I mean, a three foot flame, a burnout. You're going to line up traffic. No one's got time for that. Throw your damn pulling spring down and run the car. That's it. Absolutely. People gotta go to work, people gotta go home. We got shit to do. Shit to do. That's why I got what's good about the airport wars. No sticky icky. No sticky icky. You got a Mustang to build at home? Yes, I do. Yeah. So what are, you, what are you gonna do with that? Is that one gonna be no sticky icky? That's gonna be no sticky. No sticky icky. That's I don't give a... You're not running yeah, no there's sticky kids icky. watching this. Yeah, sit right here so they can get you in line. You can't even see you over there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get him, Matt. Uh, get him, Matt. Get him, Matt. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it. So how long, how long you been doing as Mr. No Sticky? I can't tell you. Well, 
probably about two years, I would say. I got into the water burnout only because we do a lot of test passes on, um, I'm going to, uh, I can't even say the damn road, but we make some test passes on it, and we never use any sticky icky, no VHT, no no sugar water, no sugar water, no, no Pepsi, Mountain no Mountain Dew, <laughs> no Adirondack <laughs> syrup, none of that stuff. Yo, you saw the sticky icky video this morning, well, this afternoon when you did it, right? No. Did I drink the water? He drank the water. Was there anything in it? Well, you're still alive, so I'm going to say You did no, it right, I'm still alive. <laughs> like a maniac. I, I think if we had a little VHT in a bottle, you'd be killed over grabbing your stomach right now. Yeah, I probably would have spit it out. <laughs> probably would have, you probably would have wet. <laughs> Tell us what you do. Why are you down here in your pool, boys? What, what are you doing on the team? What am I doing on the team? I'm here to support Tommy Reek. Um, I, my... All right, I gotta stop looking down, right? My, my whole thing with Tommy is I want to make sure that he's safe, number one. That's that's first and foremost. I want to make sure this crazy son of a bitch is safe. Um, second of all, I want to make sure his tires are right, front and rear. Um, Mark, I follow, I, I listen to Mark when he's doing what he's doing. I'm trying to watch and learn the things I don't know because for this right here is one heck of a, an opportunity for me right. to learn a lot more that I absolutely do not know, you know? Yeah. And, well, and Mark's a healthy teacher. He's been absolutely. Some stuff and I learned a lot from too. Tommy because Tommy is like all, he, he eats and breathes racing. I, 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 I try to keep up with the crazy guy. Sometimes I get a little worn out, but bro, I take some sticky icky right there, and I just I'm done. I'm good. Yeah. I'm back up rolling with the boy. All right. So, what's your prediction? Who's going to be in the finals? There for no, 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 no. Finals? No, that he's he's going to just take it. Well, I want to know who's no. in the final. Who's going to be the final? Who's he racing? Who's he going to go to glorious? I race? hate to say I hate to say this, bro, because I don't want to like. Uh, knock anyone down, but it's going to be NYSO versus NYSO. You think so? NYSO, NYSO yeah, final. Yeah, absolutely. Time. They have, I'm going to say they, but because I'm from New York. I'm born in, I bleed New York blood, right? What's the difference between New York blood and other blood? Dude, we're just, we're just different. I'm sorry. You, you, dude, I'm made fun of everywhere I go because of my accent, the way I talk, I'm loud. We have great pizza. We have great bagels. Best. Like you can't the have bagels. our bagel, bro. You can't get our recipe because you can't get our water. We're we're bred off of that Long Island, New York water. What's in the water in Long Island? It raises Health, I know, bro, but it's good stuff. <laughs> and next week on sixty minutes, what's in the water in Long Island? And why is it doing this to people? <laughs> and why is it doing this? <laughs> yo, yo. And why is it doing this? You know what? Hey, don't forget, we got We do got to give PA a shout out because I want yeah, to say absolutely. Absolutely. When absolutely. they were in Memphis, right? Absolutely. When they were racing in Memphis. So uh, I want a new I can shot. handle this shot. No, no Christmas. <laughs> I want a new car. Hold on. Let me get in there. 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 Pandemonium! Pandemonium! In the street! What are you doing? Why is it not a front? Get down, baby! Oh! No! No prep, there's no prep. No stick in. And we out. No, you just can't make this up. You can't make no this up. No prep, there's no prep. We need it. Oh, so anyway, I would say that PA, PA did the best. PA did the best out of all the racing. They definitely took down like six races with those guys. And that's, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. No, it's not. But we got to give them credit. So I think, honestly, in the finals, it could be anybody. Because there's a lot of cool, there's a lot of good guys, honestly. Let me ask you something. Do I do a good job? Oh, yeah, man. Yes. Got Dave Terizzi, got OP, everybody's on the Go get him, baby. Go get him. I hope you guys just caught this heartfelt moment between a father and son where the son asks, Daddy, are you proud of him? Look up to him, man. We're going. Right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yo, White Lightning and Wilkie Allen. Oh, man. Well. Tune in next time as we discover the great secrets of the world. What do they put in the water in Long Island? 
what is in the water at Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Are we going to have more on the track? We're not sure. You're going to have to stay tuned for all this and more Ooh. next time as we go live. Race Talk with Rice on the streets, pandemonium in the streets. We're not even live, so I don't even know why the fuck I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Matt. Matt. Right, Matt is. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Give me my money. I'm choking one. White lightning's in the house. The car is beautiful, and it's fast.